Oh well this is an absolute madness. I'm in a Lada taxi at 6.40am trying to explain to him that I want to go to the next town because realistically there's more to do in that one which is 30 minutes down the road. He's not giving me a price now, I just need the price now. And then I've told him that I want to go to like a waterfall or something else. But he doesn't know where it is so he's asking his friends. Wow. Okay, so people we've entered the town of Kach and the centre is just in that direction and we're going into the valley basically to a town called Ilisu. So he said a little bit more money and it's possible. Oh, there we go, we've got a light. I don't think that's good actually because I slept about two hours last night. I took a bus from Baku to Zakatala, which was Zakatala Kach Ilisu. Uh -huh, and that's where we've come from, so that was about seven hours. Slept about two of them, so maybe better without that light. Ilisu Sichas. Ilisu what? Ilisu. Okay. So this is a... Okay, there we go. So this is a hotel that we've got. Hosh, this hotel. Oh. Okay, it looks really nice. We're not getting in yet. It's nice, right? Yeah, just for Okay. So we're going in. I'm going to ask how much it is. Looks like a castle. Okay, moment. So this place obviously does look really nice. But that's 98 manat. So in Great British Pounds, that's literally about 45 or 40 more or less. It's just not, I just can't do that. No. I'm not luxury, not luxury on this trip. Oh, wow, this is all so intense. He's just asking something to some other guy in a car. But obviously it's literally like just before 8 a.m. in the morning. So how I'm gonna find another taxi to the next place, I don't know. Because have a look. Flipping this is an absolute madness. <laughs> Sorry, so much is just happening. So they wanted to get me into the hotel. I'm like, hang on, I haven't decided because there's no point me staying here realistically in the middle of nowhere. Like I'd like to see the waterfall and then some outdoor hammam. I have no idea how that is. It might just be literally a pool of water or it might be sort of interesting but I just asked for a restaurant anyway apparently it's down here but how can it be open at 8am I don't know he's trying to charge me a ridiculous amount for seven kilometers up there literally about 30 quid just for a seven kilometer car ride yes it's probably a bit more four by four sort of style but I mean yeah, Azerbaijan is pretty cheap, but, like, can't lie, they do try and get every last penny out of you. Like, for example, that taxi, just for 40 minutes down the road, was like £12, and that might seem alright, but it should be cheaper than that. They just give me the price after I say I'm from England, so that's why. But, anyway... So the restaurant's down here, I'll stop blabbering about money and stuff like that because you don't know with countries like this if you'll ever come back so I just need to focus on enjoying the experience and not getting ripped off basically. Just such random situations. I look like I'm in some sort of like wedding hall and I'm just the only one here. 8 a.m. in the morning, in the middle of the Azerbaijani mountains, moments like this just make me think, what am I doing? Anyway, let's just get some bread down me, a good cup of coffee or something, and I'm not even going to bother trying to get a taxi or something like that for a stupid price.
Salam. Есть просто чай, хлеб. Okay, people, wow, this is what I actually needed. He said, this is bal. I think this is just honey. And I said, what do I do with that? And, I don't know, I think he just said, do a little mix. I've got some cheese there. I do like the cheese, to be honest. More cheese. The bread is absolutely beautiful. I already know it. Well, we've got tea and coffee. Well, people, I have to say, in the Caucasus, the bread is absolutely incredible. So is the tea and the coffee. That is butter, by the way. I think earlier I said it was cheese, but it's not. Anyway, so I've got this honey. I assume it's honey. Now, I don't know how to consume this. Okay. It's not really drinkable. Can't really use a fork. So the only other option is a little bit of bread. Why has it gone silent? <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to get a little bit of bread and dip it in this honey. Wow. Looks like very th What the? Is this normal honey? Looks very thick, I think. Anyway, probably going to be quite nice, to be honest. Mmm. It's like quite a strong honey. I'm just thinking, to be honest, it's seven kilometers. He's trying to charge me 30 pounds or 28 or something like that, 27 maybe, for just a seven kilometer journey and back. That's just way too much. It's possible by foot, but seven kilometers, what's that? Three miles? That's quite long, you know? And it's not that I can't do it, of course I can do it. It's just the time. Oh, so anyway, there's another waterfall somewhere up here. I think I'm going the right way. There's not even a path. Oh, this is literally one of the hardest travel experiences I've had so far. I can't lie. Maybe it's not their fault that they don't know or something. But without seeming rude, they're not helping at all. So, yeah. I walked to this one and then... Pff, the town is literally two and a half hours walk away. So I need to go back to get the bus to the next town. But I mean, there's no taxis. And even if there were, they'd probably try and rip me off big time. So yeah, can't lie to you people. Feel like I'm fighting a losing battle a little bit. And I'm a one man team, you know, so. What, what is this? What is this? <laughs> oh! The snow's like kind of icy on top. Oh, well, okay, go on. Stay positive. Let's at least try and get something right today and see this waterfall. Frozen or running, I don't care. Let's just complete something. And I feel like I'm a little bit ill. Well, I say that, I've just sneezed a few times basically. But it makes sense considering in the past 24 hours I've been travelling by bus for 16 of them. <laughs> Literally, all the way up to the north of the country. Now we're in the northwest. And in between them two time frames, I went back to Baku. I think I can see it just to the left through them trees. I think it's frozen. Oh, this terrain is hard. Hopefully it's easier on the way back. What in the world is this? Well, I think I know what it is. 
but that is not a pleasant sight. I mean, it's interesting. Is that a cow? It has to be a cow. Oh, I don't like spines. Ooh. Gives me a shiver down my one. Oh, okay. Oh. I heard some sort of animal down there. That scared me so much. Just as I was, just as I was looking at the skull, just heard loads of rustling. Oh. Hope I don't encounter the creature on the way back down. Probably just a rabbit, you know, but the mind flicks the worst things like wolves or bears basically anyway we're here thank god and i'm gonna see this and i'm getting out of here <laughs> i don't know oh well that's beautiful just you just have that feeling you know not that anything bad's gonna happen you just just a bit on edge And there it is. That is pretty nice to be fair. Well, I think I can appreciate it from here. It's very beautiful, but this terrain is very difficult. So yeah, I'll appreciate it from a distance. All right, well, I think that'll be it. Oh, let's get going. Hopefully gonna be easier on the way down. Obviously I've just gotta watch my step and watch that flipping hyena thing waiting for me. Which one's more deadly? Breaking my leg on the rocks or getting eaten by an Azerbaijani hyena? Guys, I can see one black car all the way down there. Started moving a little bit, but now it stopped and they've got out. Don't know if it's a taxi, regardless if it's a taxi or not. It's probably going back to the main town, so I need to ask them if I can hop in. But that's normal here. Might sound a bit weird, but that is literally normal. You see people hitchhiking actually every day. So yeah. Oh, the people in the black car said no. I offered money, they said no. So that's that. It's two hours and 31 minutes by foot, according to Google. I really hope I don't have to do all of this, but mm, yeah, doesn't seem like there's so much traffic, hopefully. Uh, Sorry. Okay, thank you. Well, people, we made it to Sheki. That all happened really quickly. So basically, got in that car with them people. Then they dropped me off at the market because they weren't going further. Then I got in a taxi for two manat, which was actually the correct price for once. And then I got a mashutka from the bus station and now we're in Sheki. Wow. And I slept on the bus as well, which is amazing. Well, people, I've just taken the time to come to a restaurant, get some more tea and food down me and get onto the internet and just think what am I going to do because basically there's another town that's about two hours away that I want to go from here it's two hours away but it's possible uh, internet yes internet wi-fi yes 
right, we were at the internet. So the town is two hours away from here, but from Baku it's like four, more or less. So it makes sense to go from here, but the buses are way more limited from Sheki to Baruda, which is where I want to go. So I just need to just think, you know, maybe here and then in the hotel, wherever that might be, and really plan it out because it is quite difficult. So welcome people. After that pizza, I took a taxi journey to the village of Kish, I believe it's called. And here is the Albanian church. So it's very, very unique because there's not many churches like this. Obviously, Azerbaijan is primarily Muslim, so therefore there are more mosques. And have a look. Reminds me of the churches you would find in Georgia, to be honest, quite similar. So guys, this church is actually very important and unique because it symbolizes the start of Christianity in not only Azerbaijan, but the whole of the Caucasus 2,000 years ago. Beautiful. And we've got some sun. I think it's the first time in a while that I've felt a temperature that is over 10 degrees. We're in double figures. And it has a nice, calm European feel to it because all of these streets are just cobbled streets. And I love it. My feet are still wet from when I climbed that little section to get to the waterfall. My socks are wet as well, so hopefully they can dry out in this sun. But wow, this is really nice, honestly. Really nice. Actually feels like I've just flown back to Georgia all of a sudden. Well guys, I wanted to get a coffee to go coffee to walk around this town with but obviously that's not really what they do here that's probably quite western to do that get a coffee and then walk around so instead we've got another tea not complaining really nice place with these things carpets people playing I like it wow this village is so so different normally people don't really say hello to you on the streets as expected but here people do say hello to you they actually smile at you a little bit and look at you really really warm and welcoming I'm enjoying it because as you may know in some places in the Caucasus they can have that cold look it doesn't mean that they're not warm people or that they're not nice people it's just obviously their culture not like in England where we say, hi, you okay, and all that stuff, so yeah. Oh, well. Well, unfortunately the hour is up. It was really nice, it's like, literally another place, completely different place. Here we've got the Kish Albanian temple. Oh, friendly dog. I'll tell you one thing, in Georgia the dogs are brutal and they will want to put their noses up your bum here. They don't care about you. So people behind me, we've got the hotel Marhal. And people here from Dubai, for example, or Baku can come here, have some rest, enjoy the weather because in Dubai, obviously in the summer, it's very, very hot. Here too in Azerbaijan, but we're up in the mountains. So we've got an incredible view here of and they can enjoy the stoned path and they can enjoy that village and then further down we've got Sheki also looks like there's some sort of concert stage and I bet this place is absolutely beautiful in the summer and obviously as I've said before everybody tells me you need to come back in the summer so yeah got the mountains in the background as well but even today when the sun's out it's nice and warm what an absolute lovely spot to be in in the summer. Might be a little bit expensive though. So guys, I'm in the old town now. The old town of Sheki. Looks like some sort of traditional restaurant. But I won't be eating here. I've just come for a breather. For a breather. Ugh. That taxi driver. Obviously you didn't see him. We agreed a price before. And then takes you to another place. I said... No more money, yeah, for this. 
obviously he said, yeah, no problem, no problem. And then, obviously, yeah, after, he's like, oh, but you went there, mm, here, more money. Wow, so I'm in some sort of traditional restaurant, as you can see, actually very nice. But I won't be eating, I've just come for a breather to be honest, because, well, that taxi driver, you didn't see him, but he was a bit dodgy. So, basically, we agreed the price beforehand, and then he offered to go to that hotel, which I showed you. I said, okay, so if we go up here, no more money, same price, yeah? He said, yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. And then, obviously, after, he tries to charge me more. And he just wasn't giving me the price. I had the calculator on my phone. I was like, okay, so you've driven me there. So how much then? Just to get it over and done with. But he wasn't giving me the price. I was like, well, what do I do then? So I said, I've only got a 100 man at note. So went into a shop, changed the money there. And it was actually quite lucky. And... I think I was quite clever by basically paying him in the shop so that everybody could hear the conversation and that he basically couldn't reject it. So, yeah, 20 mana overall. Yeah, a bit much, but just wanted to pay so he <laughs> sort of finished the job, you know. Oh, but anyway, this has been the hardest trip so far, I can't lie, and I am enjoying it. But obviously these moments kind of fatigue you, like just having worry about that, you know, not a lot of sleep and then worrying and, the, and then worrying that the taxi driver's going to rip you off. Just things like this, unfortunately, make it a little bit more difficult than other countries, let's say.